let's get started again. I have fish here, I have water, and I'm making ramen. And I have cottage cheese for later. We're good. Tomorrow I'll get some good sleep. Yeah, it, it's, it, it, what it comes down to is if I don't discipline myself now, like, because I said, I'll, I'll play games and it, I'm gonna lift and play games for the rest of my life for sure. But the problem is, is like, if I don't take care of myself properly, I don't discipline myself now, um, by taking appropriate actions, well, I'm just gonna keep on getting myself sick and it's, you know, it's not gonna be good. So that's why I, I've been taking a little bit of a break from games off and on and stuff as of the past week. Yes. Physically, my, as long as I'm not doing anything to myself, that is... As long as I'm not doing anything to myself, that's, um, you know, physically or mentally damaging to me. God damn! There's a lot of guys there, by the way. <coughs> it's not worth it, obviously, right? If, you, if, you, if you're not able to take care of yourself. Doesn't make any sense. I fucking missed him. Oh, this might be a little... Oh, hello! Oh, good thing he missed me. But yeah, uh, that's one reason why, like, I'm off and on. I'm off and on with wanting to go back to competitive gaming, because, like, it, it, it usually doesn't turn out well. Unless I can competitive game at, like, a, a little bit lesser of a level than I was before, so I can keep my strength and stuff, because I did it, you know, usually on a competitive game, it was usually during a time where I wasn't really growing strength wise I was like maintaining probably around there or it was like during the pandemic so hmm. what You would be fucking kidding me. Dog meat's being an idiot. What a surprise. I hope dog meat doesn't die. Go ahead and shoot a rocket launcher close quarters, see what happens, idiot. I want to see this guy do this. Please do it. I fucking dare you. Shoot the fucking rocket launcher. I dare you. Fucking idiot. You complete fucking moron. What a dumbass. Dogme got here just in time. Why is he almost dead every single fucking time, dude? Jesus Christ, Dogme. The pandemic actually was really bad for me. I was running a room for rent. Um, which is... What the fuck? And, um... 
it wasn't like the best situation, but the just fucking sheep as hell. But the biggest issue, um, uh, the biggest issue is I, I basically had a basically a house rent by myself almost, but um. Like, I basically was addicted to games from the pandemic. I couldn't live, so I was just full-on gaming. I didn't go out at all. I went out to, like, the grocery store with my mask on, obviously, and all that crap. It was bad. It was fucking bad. Dog me, get out of here. God damn it. Fucking. I swear to God, this dog is suicidal. The dog wants to fucking die, I swear to God. But yeah, it was pretty bad. I actually had a breakdown uh, from too much, like, competitive gaming and all that crap. It was really bad. It was very bad. At that point, I realized my mental health was more important, and my mental health was actually deteriorating at a faster rate than I was. I thought I could, you know, handle, I guess, or whatever. Stay there. Gentlemen. So we're gonna go for him first, obviously. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I mean, before then I was kind of a, a little bit of an advocator for mental health, but ever since then it's been much more. Um, not realizing that, you know, you think you're taking care of yourself, but over the time... Okay, I might die here. Which should be fine, actually. I got lucky. Uh-oh, oh, no. I, well, hopefully I get lucky. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I died. That's fine. I deserve that. Uh, oh, I was critically hit. No matter what happened, I was dead. Glad we saved. Right on there. But yeah, it was um more of an eye opener, I guess. Why are those guys not even there anymore? That's actually kind of wild. <clears throat> yeah, it, it just I don't know. It was just really fucking weird time for me, I guess. Like it was like. A miserable time because I was forcing myself to speedrun Thief 1. Uh, Thief 1, Kaiza 1, and then Grand Poo World 1. And I did really good with Thief, obviously, world record. Kaiza 1 didn't do much speedrunning of that, and I got fucking 6th, 7th place. And then Grand Poo World 1, I said, fuck this, this hack's dog shit, and it, it actually is dog shit. So. I heard the other ones that he made are better. The later ones, but still, I don't, I don't want to play anything by that person anymore just because of that. There's just people do like the most troll stuff, and it's it's really it's really childish. <clears throat> but I don't hate the guy that made it. I mean, I was pretty pissed off when I was playing, obviously. But yeah. But I mean, like I took I took no breaks either, no breaks. I went for straight from Thief 1, um, world record, uh, to Kaiza 1, and then I did, um, like, 6th place, I have it, I have it up there, it's a little toxic, the playthrough's a little toxic, but whatever, uh, I'm not happy, you know, proud of myself about it, but it is what it, <coughs> it is what it is at this point. <coughs> 
And then there's, um, yeah, the other one. I think I stopped playing Grimp Rule 1 after I hit the second or third playthrough. And said, fuck it, I'm not speeding this shit. It's too much. Wasn't really worth it, honestly, though. Not worth it. How is this guy not attacking me? No one going around? Go fuck yourself, buddy. But yeah, I think getting back to competitive gaming will be fine as long as I don't do like 80 million hours a day. But I, I said I'd be very, very, very cautious on when I'm speedrunning. Very cautious. I think I'm gonna speedrun stuff that I have speedrun before. But on top of that, I wanna do other competitive stuff too as well. I don't know what. So <clears throat> Where's Dum Dum? Where is he? Where is he? What? I hope to God. Oh, please. Okay, we're fine. <clears throat> I know the dog's not dead. Yeah, it's easier to basically kind of just give in to what you want to do sometimes as opposed to kind of taking care of yourself, but you got to realize that taking care of yourself is obviously necessary. You know, for the long run. Because I still want to play stuff really bad, like kind of stuff, but it's just like I'm pretty sure like, I'm balanced. Making sure I'm balancing shit out. What the, did he just shoot himself? What a fucking idiot. Dog made him get hit there. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't think we're going to get this done tonight, but that's fine. I'm not trying to push myself. I wanted to start something like tomorrow, but I can finish this off tomorrow and do something. I kind of want to do another no logic, uh, not a low logic, but a uh, max shuffle rando. Oh fuck, I forgot about this part. Yeah, I gotta 
make sure this... I gotta make sure dog meat doesn't slip on getting any of this fucking shit. Okay, we can't go over there. We're fine here. What? Interesting. I don't think dog meat's gonna follow me. I don't think it can follow me at this point. It's 80. Alright, they, they ain't no shot. Fuck it. Fuck it! Did you come with me, Lieutenant? Are you a Paris right here? Never. I know if I kill him, she get fucking all pissed off. It is spelling. Yep, yep. It is definitely doing that. All those skill points. What the fuck? I know. I know. You're not gonna hit your fucking love of your life, are you? All right. I want to see if he actually does it. Did I get all of that. Um. Talent. We don't like your kind around here. That seems a bit. Seems a tad bit racist, to be honest. No, I all this stuff is legitimate. I just want to play now. <laughs> Jeez, you know. So yeah, Kino's. He, he can even say that. <clears throat> oh, this is excellent. Yes, you do have a way with words, don't you? Oh, we shall see. Dog meat. I need dog meat over here right now. By the way, I'm pretty sure this was not something I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> exactly. But no, save editor. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm just saving points and stuff. <clears throat> Are you sure we can win this? Okay, you stay down here. Good. Where is he? Alright, buddy, you need to stay down here. And just don't move. Remember this jackass first. As a rocket launcher. Go ahead, kill him. Not me. The other guy. How does this guy get two turns in a row and I get none? Bro, why does everybody get like eight million turns and I get none? Literally, this game can suck my fucking cock, bro. So dog shit, bro. Fucking dumbasses, dude. Where's uh, dog meat? I know, because the... Yeah, it, it, these guys do you no know, more than like 30 to 40 damage, but... The developers that made it don't know how to actually math properly, so their criticals are kind of a bit 
overdone. Oh, you want some of this? All right, fine. around the corner. We're safe. What's up, Ozzy? I'm not even going to pronounce your name. I am I want to try, but at the same time, I'm going to probably fuck it up. How you doing? Uh, silk Dows? Act Silk Dows? I don't know. How to, yeah. Maybe not. It, it, it's pretty nuts. The boss, the boss fight's actually a lot worse, honestly. I'm not sure how you ignore power on at that, at that point, which is kind of interesting, but... Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Did he just kill him? Fucking dumbass. Fucking god. Dude. He just killed his boss, by the way. You think he would, like, get closer to me? Like, you think, like, you know, me sniping with a rifle would be more efficient than him trying to, like, minigun me from a million miles away? There he goes. Get fucked, asshole. The actual boss though was kind of nuts. The boss would not hit me anything for more than like. Oh, this is excellent. Yes, you do have a way with words, don't you? Oh, we shall. <laughs> we shall see about that. Yeah, some of them don't want to die. Well, probably all of them, but that one especially. I think the guy that was talking is already dead, so... What are you... Fucking cheating piece of shit! That's it. Guy's stim-packing more than I fucking stim-pack. God damn, dude. I know, right? He's playing like he's playing... He's copying me is what he's doing. I don't like that. You have no idea what you're dealing with? Um, uh, I don't know, dude. You just want to die already, dude? Cool. Okay, great. Let's put this there. Locked. Not anymore. Give me that shit. Give me the juicy stuff, dude. Both of them. I can't fuck you, dude. Dog mean okay? That's the only thing I care about, honestly. Fuck the crits, as long as dog meat's okay, we're fine. Yeah, that one is especially kind of uh, funny because... God damn it. That one's especially funny just because of the fact that... Can we do this? Damn it. Fine. Um, it's like a boss when I get... What the fuck? Alright, so we're basically going to be done fairly soon. Dog meat should be around here somewhere. Let's go up here. Out of order.
sure, why the fuck not? Didn't want to do that, but whatever works I get to this point. Apparently I'm gonna suffer. That looks like you suffered, not me. That looks like you suffered again. I think it's a lot of HP, doesn't it? This thing's just taking it, dude. This thing's just taking it. There we go. <laughs> he was whispering to himself. He's like, I can't wait to die. Oh, play themselves. Suffered some kind of Swedish. I don't know. I can't think of anything. I got nothing. I have a lot of these fucking things, don't I? <clears throat> God damn it, dog meat! Where is he? There you are. Get over here. Severely wounded. What a surprise. Fucking suicidal dog. Just run into fucking... What the fuck? All my stim packs are going to the goddamn dog. This dog doesn't want to stay away from certain areas. God, Jesus Christ. Come on, dog meat. We don't have time to fuck around. Four. Buy this four. See what happens here. This fucking bitch is gaslighting the crap out of me. Dog meat? Back here. Goddamn dog. What are you doing out of your protective cell? I'm on a prisoner here. Well, I think I, uh, I think you could get more into a lot of trouble. Please don't hang out near me. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna shut up to holy hell, right? Watch this. So I, I, I kill him, right? Well, here's what happens. And this happens. You didn't have to kill him. Sarah sobs, leave me alone. Gaslit beyond your own... I, I've never been gaslit so hard in my fucking life. I'm literally dying. Someone's killing me. And I can't defend myself. Because someone's offended by that. Imagine that. We're gonna kill this bitch walking around. You should be in your cell. The guards are keeping us here for protection. The robots have been programmed to unescorted normals. Once I've been dipped, I'll be able to spend time helping the Unity. You want to do that? Of course, the best chance you made to survive. Yeah, okay, whatever, have fun. Alright. You know, I'm confused. Are we talking about fighting? Never mind. What are we talking about now? Just imagine, like, you're literally. Okay, he's. Whoa, we didn't kill him. I think we did it, guys. I think we actually did it. We've come to the conclusion that this guy is not going... Yeah, he's, he's not going to attack me. Oh, God. But he's sure going to piss me off. What are you doing? I'm not dying for this. Are you sure you fucking can't? Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me, dude! Fuck you, dude. 
Actually, you know what? I wonder if that actually does anything, though. Oh, please. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, everything's good. We can kill him later. Yeah, he's, yeah. Basically, yes. That was, that was the plan, yeah. Yep. Keenan with the top tier idea. We both had the same idea. <laughs> I didn't read chat. But... Yeah, so apparently... I don't... Well, there is a way to... T well, you don't really talk to him. He more of just... Whoops your ass, I guess, it seems like. Maybe you can talk to him. Maybe for some... No, 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 no. Talk to me. Don't do it. I might have to find that out later. I'll, I'll do a third playthrough of this game at some point. Well, hey, guess what, Ian? Wait, what did he say? What if Ian said something. Hey, buddy. I got great news. Um, we should stick together after all. Brotherhood. And then we'll go from there. We're not gonna finish. God damn it. Please don't be the mutants. It's the mutants. Please don't kill dog meat. Or Ian. Damn it. Yeah. We're dead. Ah. Imagine trying to, like. Like, I like how I'm, I'm getting no damage taken. Can I get dog meat some of this armor? Alright, who killed dog meat? We're not, we're not, we're not doing the save until these guys die now, because I forgot which one killed dog meat for the dying. No, he, he doesn't, because he has, he, he, his damage is not bad, but he just sucks ass, because he can't level up. I fucking saved him. The good thing about dog meat, though, on the other hand, dog meat runs because he's crippled. So he'll just run. So you don't have to deal with, you don't have to worry about dog meat. <clears throat> we should be fine here. Some of the members don't like you having your gun out. It just, it makes them feel uncomfortable. I just took, I single handedly just took care of your fucking war assholes. But we don't want you to have your gun out because it makes me feel nervous. Even though everybody else has guns here. Again, initiate. Uh, things going well? Uh, I have some information on the area of the north here. What do you got? I saw the base is crawling with mutants. Well, not anymore, but it was. Finally. Well, this will get the elders off their butts. We'll fortify the fortress and surprise those damn mutants. You can't play defense on this so, one. Uh, what is your alternative? I'm not quite sure what we should do about it right now. Let me gather. Uh, well, it's obvious thing done. It would be best if we attack the mutants before they attack us. <sighs> not a bad plan. Try to beat him until there you want, let me go. Where's the conference room? Okay, thank you. Oh, god damn it. That door had to close. God damn it. God damn it, Bobby. So yeah, I was talking about earlier how I was like basically took a break from streaming as you all knew, which is kind of a rare occurrence, but if it starts affecting my physical health, which I got sick because of it, 13 and a half hour stream, then it's not worth it. Or mental health, too, as well, obviously. Good day, initiate. The meeting room will come to order. All elders are present and have agreed to hear out the claims of Brother Count. We shall determine what actions will be taken. Brother Count, tell us what you have you seen in the north. Through explorations, I found a military installation being used by mutants. It is heavily guarded and patrolled regularly. You know, what do these mutants look like? They are large humanoids. Their muscle mass is well beyond a regular human could ever gain. They're on steroids. They appear to be several... 
uh, of the guarding the gate and organized troops, there were big greenish and carrying weapons. What threat do you assume these mutants pose? Just as the Brotherhood has <laughs> just as the Brotherhood has been gearing up for battle, the mutant army has been preparing for something big. Frankly, your report has not shown us any proof that there is a threat to us. What proof can you give us the hostile intentions? They're gathering an army, a heavily armed armed army. They certainly aren't going to just parade around. They intend to use it. So by these actions they're taking, it is feasible that they will eventually come here as possible. They are already on their way here. Brother is the only real opposition they could have. Uh, prevent to strike on the military base. Yes, I don't want them to know we are coming though. Da -da -da. Okay, small team, whatever. So be it. Cool. Okay. <coughs> but yeah, that's why I've taken, been taking a break. I'll probably take a few more days off this week, probably too. I'll stream today, tomorrow. I want to finish this up tonight, but I'm not going to stream much longer because I don't want to fuck myself up with my, my diet, um, my sleep. Um, those are crucial for me gaining strength, and I'm tired of uh, not, you know, being able to get stronger because of that shit. So. Hello again, and then get up. Okay, we're gonna go here. Where's fucking dog meat? Dog meat? What are you doing over here, bud? By the way, we're two for two playthroughs where dog meat is gonna live. Only because dog meat's crippled. If anybody ever wants to play this game and have dog meat live. Well, the first time he got crippled by the Deckard guy. The second time he got crippled because of, um... He crippled himself, actually. He did a critical miss and, and literally crippled himself somehow. Poor dog meat. It's okay. He's still alive. He's still kicking. It's fine. Greetings. It's <coughs> a fine day for learning. Can I help you? I need some technical information. What can I help you with? I'd like to know more about the weapons we make here. Something about the holodisk, how can I read them? How can I prevent radiation poisoning? You would need some anti-radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. Oh, wow, nice. Go ahead. What caused the mutations? Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, <clears throat> if we can hold out, everything will be okay. Why do you say that? All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Sounds like a plan. Okay, hold on. What can I help you with? What about the weapons we make Speak here? Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the Go questions. Ahead. Can Use I read your Pip Boy 2000 to read the, the discs. Skills. This is Insert what I want. the disc into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. The Brotherhood has some automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. Cool, thank you. Because I think I'm at... Science is at 69. He 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 he. What can I help you with? Use your Pip-Boy 2000. What terminal do I have access to? What can I help you with? Use your Pip Boy. What can I help you? Use your Pip Boy 2000 to read the disc. Go ahead. Use your. God damn what the hell. Pretty sure there's like. Oh, hold on. Maybe this one. Whoops. Is she gonna help me learn something, or what is she? What is she gonna do? Greetings, I've not seen you before. You're lost. Maybe. So can I direct me to the library? I was sent to read the history library. Talk about the history of the Brotherhood. Okay. What can you tell me about the Brotherhood history? I don't want to relate. Whatever. Problem is, I'm I'm trying to figure out how to learn this stuff. Did my science is still at 69? What can I help you with? Speak to the knight. Go ahead. Use your pip boy to th go ahead. Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutation. Huh. It kind of is like Diablo 1, honestly. In that sense. Okay, 
right, so we'll get this to, we'll get this to, um, yeah, I think I got an idea. I want to get my science up. Um, I want to get my science up. So I'll do that. I, apparently I can't do shit here, so... We took care of everything in the other area. Which is fine. Um... Oops, I didn't actually bring up whatever, that's fine. How's it been going, Thief? Okay, um... Let's go read books for science and stuff. Because I know my science goes up there. go to where do we say we need to go hub need to buy a lot of books the thing is do i want to go back to the glow um books um So we want electronics that's repairing. Um, science. Huh. Okay, I must have sold that. Fair enough, I guess. Five eight one S five eight four. Okay. So let's see. My science is at sixty nine. He he he. how the books instantly just pop up again. It's really nice. God damn, I'm losing all my fucking money to this shit, dude. Science eighty six. Okay. God damn. She's breaking my fucking balls, dude. Jesus Christ, with all this money. She's in the CBT because that's what she's doing right now. She's breaking my fucking balls. Go 
goes up to 91. And we can't do any more. Okay, 91. Science, we're done there. <clears throat> do we want to do anything else? I'm literally out of caps. That is kind of nuts. It's the only good thing good caps are good for, I guess. Holy fuck. 90. Ah, oh, go fuck yourself. That's fine. I'm not buying another book. See the one at? 69. Hee hee hee. up I guess. Oh hold on, do this shit too as well. <coughs> Hello and welcome to the Far uh, I haven't been here. Fargo traders, I'm gonna help you. I'm looking for work. You're looking for work, I heard good things about you. You always use someone in your reputation, go in and talk to Butch to the door behind me. What do you want? I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Here for. Yes. Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get Wait, the I have a question about the job first. <sighs> Don't spoil it. Make them quick. What is the job? Well, some caravans yeah, yeah, have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to us. Simple. Do. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Hey, well, there's, uh... <clears throat> something, but... Well, I, I do never listen to you. You, uh... You really want to hear it, huh? How do I find well, out this far? How do you... <sighs> Go talk to Beth. She knows more about that crap. <laughs> done and done. Guarantee it wasn't the Brotherhood. Let me that because I just joined their order and I checked them through early, just real quiet and keep to themselves, but there's nothing to fear there. There are three sure I think. Guarantee it wasn't the Brotherhood. What do you know about the Death Claw? Okay, it's crazy. It's just people's ma okay, imaginations. Okay, thanks. Bye. I gotta get uh, some sort of proof. Some questions. What's the word in the street about the missing caravan? Some people think the water merchants are responsible. What exactly is a death claw? So I think it was the de a darn death claw, or maybe people were the brotherhood of steel. Death claw is the most evil thing to rise. Out of yeah, honestly, yes, true. The war, some say it's a powerful ghost from the war that haunts the land. Some ghosts are real as you and me. It's 20 feet tall with teeth as big as your arm. Some kind of demon that found its way here when the world was engulfed in fire. Ah, uh, do you know anything else about the Death Claw? I know the old mutant in Old Town named Harold. He's seen, he's the only one that's seen and lived. The question about this caravan. I'm the Death Claw's daddy. <laughs> Uncle slap you over in old town dogs, but sometimes you just crazy old fool and like one of those caravans. Hey brother, it's you. <sighs> Why you don't know? I heard that they're making human sacrifices to all sorts of other terrible things. As a member of the Brotherhood, I can assure you that nothing like that is going on. You're right. I didn't mean t um, lovely day we're having, don't you think so? There's nothing else I can do for you. I like one of those caravans. <laughs> Stupid. I think we've got all the quests done that we need to get done. I'll make sure I'm thorough uh, this time around, a little more thorough, I guess, with questing and stuff. We'll see. Mm. 
Oh, pretty, pretty stuff. Why is the moon? Beth told me to talk to you about the death claw. Beth, Beth, shoo, shush. Beth, like Harold, you talk to Harold. Harold, tell you a story, sloppy, then help. Help then. Who the fuck is Harold? There's Harold. <clears throat> Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? Here, here's 25 bucks. <laughs> oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. Mm -mm. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. I need information. They're going to hear the man. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Can I kill him? Okay. Well... It's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest oh, armor. It, so it don't let the size fool you. It's quick. It really is quick. Well, from what <laughs> I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. Yeah, actually, Ian had a pretty good... Uh, yeah, he punched the thing in the ground twice, so... I can't look at him. It is said the death claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Good luck to you. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything I can do for you? I don't believe this one, but... Uh, some say an army of mutants is on the way. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Don't worry about it, buddy. Oh, hey. Anything I can do for the whole thing? Well... What's the story? Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew. Long time. What these days, no, it won't happen. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Where was your vault located? What did you do then? Do you realize how old that makes you? Where's the vault located? You know, <laughs> I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, east? Oh, I don't know. I, <laughs> well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. Uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Where were the mutants coming from? Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. <laughs> but mostly in the northwest. You farted northwest. I almost want to say that's so fucking bad. <laughs> Pretty good. Now, we mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. What was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. I didn't know that was a piece. Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. <laughs> Gee, cheaper by the dozens. Jesus. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Is it the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And then? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then... It was just me and Gray. What happened to Mark? To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Couldn't face the wasteland again, so... I, Damn. I never looked. What about you and we Gray? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. 
That's when it happened. What? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. I just right. didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. You can tell. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. And we All did. I know is it was something inside that base. Do you think it committed radiation? How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went then. Well, it's thanks for letting me tell it. Uh, your buddy Gray's an asshole. Speaking of which, I think I fucked up. A regular transmission? I don't think I got, I don't think I read this, right? Regulators radio transmission log, message sent, regulator patrol to regulator base, come in, do you copy over, message received. This is regulator base, principal, regulator, Caleb, responding report over. Message sent, sir, yes sir, regulator second class, uh, Kravota reporting. We've apprehended the Zimmerman boy, trying to infiltrate our perimeter, oh yeah, this is where we read this one. Again, sir, orders over. <clears throat> message received, shit again, well that's the last time this is going to happen, let me him and make it look like the blades did it, understood, over. Message, sir, uh, did I copy correctly, sir? Kill him over? That's affirmative, regulator, and I want it messy. Impale him on the guard's post. Jesus, out front. Oh, cut out. Jesus Christ. Cut out his tongue so he can't talk uh, while we attempt to save his uh, sorry ass over. It shall be done, sir, over. Jesus fucking Christ. We haven't read this one. I don't think we've read this one. The exist from the uh, accursed base was a trying to. Have you read this one? No, I don't think we have. <laughs> Pretty sure I would have actually remembered this. <coughs> the exodus from the accursed base was a trying time for the men and their families. While there was no radioactive fallout to uh, contend with, they were frequently beset by the fallout of humanity. Uh, roving bands of psychotic marauders attempted several attacks on that noble group. The company itself was in no danger, for they wore the armor of power. Members of their family were not so lucky. Once the vermin found out what they were easily uh, found out what they were easily repelled, they began to fire on the unarmed civilian uh, from a distance. <clears throat> they took a great many casualties. Yet, for every member of the Exodus that was struck down in this way, our noble brethren took two lives from the wasteland. Finally, the forefathers came to the safety of the bunker. Captain Maxson, the great deliverer, decreed this to be our new home, and was and all was well. In the fullness of the uh, in the fullness of time, the bunker became our home, our temple, and our salvation from the terrors of the outside world. We began to build and shape our fortress into something glorious. The beauty, which the technology uh, technologically uh, bereft world has never seen before. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Yet there were those who sought still more. These restless souls demanded we look to the southeast for the advanced technology that was supposedly housed there. Captain Maxson warned these uh, impetuous youths that the research facility was doubtlessly destroyed when we uh, were spared. Uh, but they would not hear his words. <clears throat> they took their sanctified armor and headed off to find their holy grail, but not before they spoke to deliver his name in vain. Questioning his very bravery, these men were never these men were never heard of, uh, never heard from again. I think we, everything else is fine. Is this guy like on crack? Stand the fuck still. <coughs> <coughs> Talk to the Herald. The Death Claw sound pretty nasty. What can you tell me about it? Death Claw, Death Claw, do da da, Death Claw. Come on, what do you really know about the Death Claw? Death Claw scary, really scary. Look neat though. Want to see it? 
Take me to Death Claw? Yeah, Death Claw. Going to see Death Claw. Just shut up and take me there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no fucking way, really? <coughs> There's Death on here. Oh, he ain't shit. No, there's there's fucking Death Claw here. I've never seen this, by the way, so this is definitely new to me. <coughs> I don't know how this guy is doing this much damage with his fucking fist. It's kind of fucking wild, to be honest. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, fuck him. Okay, yeah, take all the... One fucking health, really. Thanks for taking the credit for me, asshole. The dying Ugg Arg. It was so fast, my brothers were gone, could not help. Who are you? I'm, I can't remember, was the leader of it, maybe my holodisc, the mutant weekly hands you a bloody holodisc, where did you come from? We were scouting for primes, came from, from northwest, who sent, dude this guy is a, even the mutants got fucked by the death claw, holy shit. Father, where are you father, yes master, the mutant brother, uh, breathes his last breath and collapses. Mutant transmissions. Message sent. Base, this is scavenger team to come in. Over. Messenger received. Message received. We're reading you loud and clear. Go ahead over. Message sent. We've collected four males, two females, and their supplies from the caravan. Oh, there it is. From the caravan. They're not too badly contaminated. Tell the lieutenant that we're sending them ahead. They might be able to survive the process. We're going to wait here for a few more days. Message received. Roger that. Were any casualties accrued during the uh, acquisition? Over. Message sent. Negative. Another clean sweep. Ba uh, another clean sweep. Base also tells scavenger team one that we run across the same problem they had. One of our scouts did not return from its perimeter patrol. A few of our other scouts reported that there was something big and fast seen near camp last night. I'll be checking it out personally at 0600 hours tomorrow morning. Over. Message received. Copy. We'll be awaiting your report. If possible, try to capture it. The master would be very pleased over. Dude, it seems like, honestly, like, the Deathclaw are just, like, literally nothing to be fucked with. Because <coughs> if one Deathclaw can take out one mutant like that, like, no problem. Fucking GG, dude. That is really cool, by the way. Wait, where the fuck am I? Um, Tom. <clears throat> okay, so it seems like there's usually a reason to talk to everybody here. <clears throat> Good news is, well, not the good news, but the good news. <coughs> I think I'm gonna figure out what's gonna happen to the missing caravans. That's great, good stuff. What you found, hold on, da, 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 all that stuff. Well, what do you got for me? It was mutants. What? Do I look a crazy? Been there, saw that, road. killed it. Did you even see that? You, you killed it. I well, know, yeah, but they have an outpost in the mountains. I uh. They work um, for the master, they aren't your regular mutants. Uh, where either. did these mutants come from? Well, you got the junk town to the north, and the uh, Brotherhood of Steel to the northwest, and of course the Boneyard to the south. Really? That's, that's, this is kind of bugged. Well, what do you got for me? What? Do I look a crate shy of a load? Did you even see? You, you killed it? Well, you got the junk town to the north. Okay, so apparently it just bugs out, got it. Well, what do you got for me? What? Do I look a crate? You, an outpost? Well, um, 
<laughs> well, uh, I'll have to talk to the committee. Yeah, yeah, they'll know what to do. Uh, done and done. G get out, because uh, I got stuff to do, okay? I don't know what happened to the missing caravans. Yeah, they're them to get you. They want your brown. Uh, no, actually, it was a group of these huge mutants. Some huge mutants are destroying my caravans. Well, check this holodisc guy. I got off one of the raiding mutants. Hey, I know how to use one of those. Butch got some gizmo from the scout from the Brotherhood a long time ago that can read these things. Let's see. Sorry I didn't believe you. That does not bode well for the good guys. Well, here's a partner. Hubcaps. Here, make it 800. And thanks for the information. If you need any work, you will always be welcome. Boom, we got it done. Done and done. Um. <clears throat> Is there anything else I need to do? I don't think so. We kill everything there. I wonder if I do that first. I might do that, and we'll see. I'm gonna keep one of the saves up. Which save do I want to keep up? Uh, I think. No, 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 no. no! Oh, fuck me, bro. Fucking son of a bitch. I should have saved it first. It's fine. Save it down here. Nine and ten, I'm saving. Uh, I want to save the other one though, just to see if I can try to like not kill the other mutant guy. But because the other, I mean, everybody's dead over in that fucking outpost now. It's just, it's a fucking, we it's 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 a graveyard. Let's just be honest, it's a fucking graveyard at this point. Aha! He's not taking the glory this time. Holy shit! Here we have a fucking mutant god shit on. How are you? Harder. Hi, dog meat. Okay, so we want to just go to downtown. And then go talk to this guy. Yeah, death claws are pretty fucking. I didn't really realize how the death claws were, to be honest. Well, what do you got for me? What? Do I look a. You and out! It's a group of these huge mittens. Okay. Uh, Ian, kindly move out of the fuck up. Thank you. So I think I'm gonna get as close as I can to finishing this. Um, I'm gonna hop off. Actually, I'm gonna hop off fairly soon. <clears throat> Good. Now, which one was it? <coughs> I think it was this one. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Seven. So, um, Brotherhood, to get my science up, hopefully. <clears throat> then after we do that, we'll go back to the military base to figure out what we can do over there, I guess. Really? Well, that's cute. Thanks for wasting my time.
You can beat the game at like level fucking. Jesus Christ. You can beat this game at like level 13, 14, which is crazy because I think the max level is 21. It's very fucking lenient. I guess if you don't have the armor though, then it's obviously GG get fucked. <clears throat> over here. Hello, sure. Then get up. Uh, was there something over here? Dog meat made it through. Use your pit boy to Thanks a lot. You're a fucking massive help. What the fuck? I'm so confused. She was supposed to help me learn something. Do I just waste my points on science then? Waste, but well, technically, I don't have to do that. I'm just wanting to do it. What can I help you with? Use your Pip Boy <clears throat> 2000 to read the discs. What can I help you with? Between the nuclear, all the mutants I've studied have been sterile. Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce. A <clears throat> Oof. Initial ob observations. This is truly amazing. Some of the knights on a patrolling expedition came across an unusual creature. This creature appeared to be humanoid and quite possibly was once of a human state. However, there are many differences in the structure of the creature than that of a normal human. Uh, in the initial investigation of this creature, it is discovered to have a cellular structure akin to that of humans. Before any possible decomposition can take place, I am taking down the statistics of the subject. Statistics of subject A. Height, 3.2 meters. Mass, holy shit. 363.21 kilograms. That is fucking massive. I don't know how big 3.2 meters is, but I only know kg is because I'm a powerlifter and I know 2.2 pounds is 1 kg. Gender, indeterminate. Skin color, predominantly gray with tints of green under the current lighting system. Uncertain if this is due to decay or exposure in the wastelands. Note the skin is extremely tough with respect to scalpels. Mass breakdown, 77.41% mass. Bone mass, 10.23%. Fat mass, 3.02%. Jesus Christ, can I be this? Tissue mass, 9.34%. Can I have that body? God damn. <clears throat> cellular structure. Cells undergo cellular division at an increased rate. Um, <coughs> mitosis occurs at a rate of 50% quicker than of normal humans. Cellular structure appears to be highly similar to humans. Genetic structure shows a strong correlation between the subject and Homo sapiens. Possible mutation from the nuclear and biochemical agents remnant from the war. DNA strands appear to be very, com uh, very complete. All recessive genes are uh, for ailments appear to have uh, eradicated from the system. The RNA strands also appear to have been manipulated to allow for a greater transmission of signals. Initial hypothesis, hypothesis. Based on the increased size of the neural transmitter transmitters, 
and synaptic receivers, I would hypothesize the subject had acute reflexes and heightened senses. Based on the reports the Knights gave of the area in which the subject was discovered, barren, high radiation, extremely high concentrations of chemical agents, it is a wonder the subject survived as long as it did. Performing tests to determine possible cause of death. <clears throat> uh, results from tests conducted upon subject A. Visual inspection, black powder burns near the area suggest possible bullet. 1.2 centimeter lacerations upon the calf at the right leg appear to have been made by teeth. We'll conduct tests for possible rabies. Skin dried out and flaking, possible exposure. Test results, radiation count 12 rads, rabies test clean. Uh, hydrochloric gas clean, chlorine level 0.07, sulfur content 0.02%, phase shifting virus clean, gamma cyclotronic virus clean. What's up, Captain Shell? How's it going? You haven't played in years. This is my <clears throat> my first playthrough didn't go as well. The second playthrough is going a lot better, as in I'm having more fun. The first playthrough was fun, but oh boy, it was a uh, it, it was kind of annoying. <coughs> Hypothesis. Based on my observations, I would hypothesize that the test subject has been killed in a severe fight at least two people and three animal animals the size of dogs. What is truly astonishing is the extent of viral infection in the subject. I had read once that some pre-war scientists were conducting experiments with such a virus, but all the research notes were destroyed. Just checking in, that's cool. Appreciate it. How you been doing? Yeah, I've been doing I've been doing okay. I'm just I'm lifting, um, trying to get my strength back. I'm taking kind of a little bit time off from gaming uh, when I need to uh, because it's kind of getting a little bit too much. I got sick from <clears throat> a 13-hour stream, so I took about some time off. Back to it little by little, but uh, just trying. To, I'm just focusing on strength training right now, and then you know, obviously this too as well, and trying to balance out gaming with lifting and other stuff. So, well, that's good. <clears throat> Research into this virus had led to many interesting discoveries. The test subject has gained many of its mutations from the overdose of the virus. This would account for the enhanced muscle and bone structure. Additionally, the recessive genes, which are commonly found in humans, have been manipulated in such a way as to bring, up, bring about the best possible combination. While the process by which this happens is uncertain, it does have some severe side effects. Chief among them is ster uh, sterility. The test subject would uh, have been unable to reproduce with any creature whether clean or mutated. Other side effects include an al <laughs> uh, other effects include an alteration of pigment of the uh, epidermis. The life expectancy is increased by 10%. Intellect is decreased by this uh, strain by 30%. Conclusions? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, um, it's just, <clears throat> I would say gaming is going pretty well. I want to get back into competitive gaming. But I gotta balance that out with making sure I don't fuck that. When I competitive game, I kind of go hard with it. And it kind of screws over other parts of my life, which isn't good. So balancing that out when I get back to that. Uh, everything else is kind of falling into place so far. Um, just, you know, uh, did my finances pretty recently. Everything's like, you know, just how much I'm spending each year, how much I'm getting re each year residually and all this other stuff. And I would say overall, everything's good. I just wanna, you know, get my supplements for lifting, Get on a schedule where I can, you know, stream competitive stuff, still lift heavy, get stronger, and just balance stuff out in general, I guess. That's all. Based on this mission, I would extrapolate that we could simply outlive these mutants. However, based on the fact that these mutants have a super high concentration of the virus, it stands to reason that there could be some place which is creating them. As to where they could be, I cannot hazard a guess. Yeah. That's why when I'm somehow getting screwed what over... What can I help you with? Um... When I'm getting screwed over, like, physically or mentally, I take a break. That's why I took a break for, like, five days from gaming. I'll probably take a few more this Use week, too. Use your Pip-Boy 2000 mm. to read the disc. Okay, apparently my science is not going to go up. <sighs> okay, let's do this. I think Outdoorsman, we don't need that. I think Speech is fine. The only other thing we honestly really need is actually science. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's about one o'clock here. I, I told myself I'd be hopping off fairly soon because 
I want to make some ramen, get some food, extra calories in. Stuff like that. Finish this up tomorrow, I guess. I'll probably do a little bit longer of a stream tomorrow, but nothing too crazy. So. I appreciate that. You take care, too. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so I guess we just go... I might as well just hop off now, to be honest. <clears throat> We're basically almost done. Like, we basically are almost done here. We'll hop off right now. I'll uh, stay strict to kind of what I'm doing, because I need to, yeah, be uh, mindful of my sleep and stuff. And uh, my food, my diet. All right, I'm hopping off.